In this video, I'm going to explain to you a full retargeting strategy within an Advantage Plus shopping campaign. It's really important because there's some new features that have come out on Facebook only recently. So if you're not seeing the features and the functionality that I'm going to take you through in this video, don't panic because they will be rolled out soon. But the fact is, if you don't implement what I'm going to show you now, you're leaving too much to the AI. You're leaving too much to the algorithm that Facebook is going to choose for you. And what I'm going to show you is exactly how you reach and retarget specific audiences through an Advantage Plus campaign. So don't forget to stick around until the end because I'm gonna start with some basic stuff, some basic strategies, and I'm gonna build into the more advanced sections. So don't forget to check the description for hyperlinks so you can jump around and find exactly what you need. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into the laptop here. You're gonna see a layout that you should be familiar with. So here we've got the campaign level, here we've got the ad set level and the ad level. So the first thing that I'm gonna ask you to do is actually nothing to do with this, with the audience targeting. I'm gonna ask you to come into the ad account settings. And within the ad account settings, this is how we're gonna to communicate to Facebook who your customers are. And you can see this section here, we can ignore everything else because everything we want to do is all contained within this box here. Okay, so you can see here, Advantage Plus shopping campaigns. So whatever you put in here is gonna apply broadly across every Advantage Plus shopping campaign that you put out on Facebook indefinitely. So if something changes within your data, you must remember to come back in here and change it. So you can see here, your advertising settings automatically apply across all Advantage Plus shopping campaigns in this ad account. So it only applies to this ad account. In here, we can put who our engaged audience is, who our existing customers are. So your existing customers, if you're looking at this video, you can see here we've already got, this is purchases for 180 days. So anybody who has purchased a product from this client over the past 180 days is an existing client. Now you can build into that with these custom audiences. So you can choose to put a great deal more stuff in there, but the important thing is in that existing customers box, you only put people who have actually transacted with you so that Facebook or Meta can understand exactly who your existing customers are. The type of things you wanna put in there is definitely your purchases. You can only do that for 180 day, which is roughly six month period, but you might wanna upload a customer list. So if you've got five years worth of data of everybody who has transacted with you, then you can upload a custom list of all of those individuals to this platform so Facebook can understand who it needs to retarget. And it does more than that because it will understand who your buyers are so it can then learn about who is good to sell to in the future, who's got similar buying habits, who's got similar characteristics. And this can really, really exponentially improve your ad results. The second thing that we can do is in here is in your engaged audience. So who potentially hasn't necessarily buy from, bought from you, but who has engaged with your business. So what type of things are we gonna to wanna to put in there? Potentially we're gonna be wanting to put in the add to carts. Potentially we're gonna be wanting to put in people who have, I haven't set up the audiences because this, this is a test account, but you're gonna be wanting to put people who have initiated the checkout. So then we will be helping Facebook understand that this is a group of people who are engaged with the business but haven't necessarily purchased anything. And later down the line, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can use that with your audience targeting to target people who, for example, they have added to cart, they have initiated checkout, but they haven't bought. And then you can really reach those people with specific ads to try and tip them over the line into making that purchase, increasing the amount of touch points that you have with individuals so that they can then make the sale. And this can be incredibly, incredibly powerful. So what else might you wanna put in there about pe people who are engaged with your business? It might be you wanna create custom audiences around website visitors, but you know, you have to ask the question, are those people really, really engaged? It might be people who have viewed at least 75% of a video. Now, if you want to find out more information about all the types of custom audiences that you can build, subscribe to this channel and we will link a video to exactly that. So we can show you the suite of different custom audiences that should be produced for a general e-commerce business. So we'll jump straight back into the uh, Advantage Plus shopping campaign and where we deal with all of the audience stuff is right here 
in the add set level. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down to all of the audience settings and what you might find is this looks slightly different to what you've been seeing before because this is a new feature that Facebook's ad added. When they first launched Advantage Plus, I think what they were trying to do is just let the AI do whatever it wants. So there is a certain amount of audience retargeting that is already baked into the Advantage Plus algorithm, but it's not necessarily giving you a great amount of control. And the issue is, I think that what Facebook was doing is finding existing clients who it could easily sell to so it could boost up the ROAS, and boost up the return on investment that people are having from using their software to make them look good. But a lot of advertisers like myself were frustrated with that system because what quite a lot of businesses really want to do is find new customers. And you might wanna have different ads for new customers compared to ads for existing customers. And this is how you do it. So you can see here, it says find prospective customers even if they haven't interacted with your business. So that's what you're gonna to wanna to do if you're targeting a cold audience. And you can see here, show more settings. So this is where all this normal stuff, so you can add exclusions around your catalog interactions, you can refine by gender, you can add in your custom audiences. So you can do retargeting on a general basis within there and you can add your detailed targeting as well. So that's a really good progression for audience targeting within an Advantage Plus shopping campaign. And I'm sure if you're already using Advantage Plus shopping campaigns, you'll already be seeing the improved results they can get for e-commerce businesses. However, if you're using this and you don't really want to differentiate between existing customers and finding new customers, you can do it in here with your custom audiences. So if you've just got a great offer because you've got a new product or a new, a new deal, a new sale, that sort of thing, and it's applicable for cold audiences and remarketing audiences, I just shove all of them into here under one audience targeting. But if you wanna get more specific, this is how you do it. So you select this, the retarget ads to people who interacted with your products on or off Facebook. So this is purely around retargeting. And you can see that you've got four options down here and then you've got further options here. So let's just go through these one at a time. The first one is viewed or added to cart, but not purchased. Now that is incredibly strong. In order for this to work, your tracking, your event tracking has to be set up correctly. If it's not, this is gonna act out, okay? So make sure you get that right. And we have a video about exactly how you do that, the event setup video that we'll link above. So you can do it over what period? Obviously, the sooner you reach people, if they're adding to cart, the better. But what would influence your decision around how many days that you want to apply here is gonna be how many people are adding to cart but not purchasing. In order for this to really work effectively, you're gonna need about a thousand people every 28 days at least to be adding to cart but not purchasing, right? So this is kind of more applicable to bigger businesses. So if you don't have that kind of data, if you don't have those kind of numbers behind your e-commerce business, then get up here and just retarget everybody via that, via that strategy or go back to the old school manual campaigns. Everything we teach on here is all around testing. You're gonna to have to test different strategies, creatives, different tactics and features to see if you can reach those business goals as well as you can. So this customer that you know we're building it within this ad account, they do have a lot of data. They've got a lot of numbers. They're producing millions and millions in sales every single year. So that means that they will have the data to, to go with these sort of strategies, but you might be at a smaller level, so just apply a bit of common sense to what I'm telling you. And if you're watching this video, you've probably got experience with Facebook ads anyway, so hopefully this will make a lot of sense to you. Then here you've got added to cart, but not purchased. So subtle difference, viewed or added to cart, but not purchased, or just the people who have added to cart and not purchased. Then you've got an upsell, so you've got promote all products to people who viewed or added products to cart from the product set below. So if you've got a particular product set around rattan garden furniture, for example, and you might want to upsell items that have commonly been found with those items, then this is how you would do it. People who have viewed or added to cart around the rattan garden furniture, but who haven't made a purchase. Okay, so the next section here is about cross-selling. So promote all products to people who purchased from the product set below in the last 14 days. So this is where you're gonna to have to set up your catalog appropriately. You might have different product sets. 
So we have a client that sells telescopes, millions of pounds worth of telescopes every year, but not all of the telescope customers are the same because you have some who are interested in beginners models, and then you have others that are interested in more advanced models, and you have a third group who are interested in what are called smart telescopes. So if people are buying the beginners range of products, you can upsell other things, like you can upsell the courses that they supply that's gonna help people actually get into the hobby even more. You can upsell the books and the instructions manuals you can upsell additions and add-ons to the products there's a range of things you can do you can get really really granular here but the key takeaway is you need to be able to be making enough sales for this to happen which is going to be around a thousand people but the more data that we have the better the more data you have the better that this will that this will perform it's the exact same with any audience targeting nowadays with Facebook is it needs numbers to work with because this is just an AI supercomputer crunching numbers. And then you have the custom one. So custom combination, promote all products to a custom audience based on how people interact with the products. So yeah, and that's just gonna give you some new options. So what product is it? So you're gonna have to set up your custom audience because this will be based on what you've set up previously. Okay, and then you can add exclusions and inclusions to that as well. So you might wanna say advertise this product to an individual that has purchased that product, but not this product. There's a range of things you can do. You can get super, super granular, but go buy the data. And then finally, this section down here is you just throwing in any other custom audience that you might want to run. So this is an also, but there is this drop down, and you can say only. So there's quite a little subtle difference. So also is whatever you have set up here. So you might wanna be selling to people who have viewed or added to cart, but not purchased within a 14 day period. And people who have initiated the checkout, but not purchased. There might be some stuff that you wanna do that, or only people who have initiated the checkout. So people who have viewed the cart, not purchased, but have only initiated that checkout. So that's a really, really powerful retargeting tool. There's loads that you can do, so much you can do, and I'm sorry, I'm trying to squeeze it into a quick video to get the most value to you, but play around with it. We're using it for some other clients. We're getting ROASes of 20 plus. So we're finding that a general audience, we're getting a good return on ad spend of sort of around 15 to 20 for the telescope client in particular, 15 to 20. And then this retargeting one, which only has a small budget comparatively to the ads that are running against a broader audience. But the retargeting one is getting a return on ad spend of 20. Now, the reason we don't go higher and heavier with the budget in the retargeting campaign is just because of audience size and we have to maintain a reasonable frequency level with the ads that are showing. So I really hope that helps. There's gonna be some other videos that we'll link below that are gonna be relevant to this. It's gonna help you create some really specific and fantastic looking retargeting ads that are highly relevant to your audience. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.